I just recorded this video, messed it up, and got to record again. But you see this line that I just drew? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. What is Bitcoin doing right now? Is the move. It's a green candle for sure. Some people getting excited about it. Listen, I got a notification. Bitcoin broke 28,000. I got excited about it. We're going to talk about the move. Exact resistance, immediate resistance, where Bitcoin is right now. We're going to dig into the ADA charts. ADA just trying to do its own thing, making its own move. What's in store in terms of price targets for ADA? I want to talk about exact price targets and how they even play into the last cycle. So hit the subscribe on the way in, everybody, and, and hop on the Crypto Capital Venture journey. If you're on this crypto journey with me, I appreciate you just hanging out with me as we go through all these, these ups and downs. I want to start on the weekly with Bitcoin. We're going to dig into that, that crazy chart that we just looked at on the daily and where resistance is. But the first thing I want to point out on the weekly is this. Very simple. You see how in the last cycle, we kind of exited the bear, consolidated back down at the 50 moving average, we started to escape, right? And then unfortunately, COVID came into play, but it started to escape in the pre having right? And then you even go back here in 2016, same thing, out of the bear market, pulled into the 20 week moving average, Bitcoin starts escaping. This is exactly what Bitcoin is doing right now. It's exactly what it's doing. When I say Bitcoin is so on pace, this is what I mean. When I say crypto cycles are so on pace, and we'll even see it with an altcoin like ADA, this is what I mean. I'm, I'm absolutely not worried at all about crypto right now. I'm just not. I can't believe the consistencies on these charts. But this is what I'm saying. This is exactly what it's doing once again. Exiting the bear market, getting pulled back in. Now, this area is kind of the average of those two areas of the two last cycles that we just looked at where Bitcoin kind of started to escape to the upside. What will be interesting, and this is a good time to talk about this on the weekly chart, what will be interesting is if Bitcoin starts to escape at all of these moving averages prior to this green box. Because from a timeline perspective, it would seem that Bitcoin is kind of escaping these moving averages earlier, right? But that also plays into exactly where Bitcoin is right now. That is to say resistance. So before we even look at the daily chart and the daily targets, Check it out. Bitcoin's at crazy resistance. We have the 20 week moving average just crossing below the 200, the green crossing below the red, and Bitcoin is there. Talk about confluent resistance. These are huge moving averages on the weekly and the zoomed out. Bitcoin is there right now. And important to note, we'll talk about on the daily chart, we have, we have like less than 10 minutes before a new daily candle. But right now, that's big resistance. What I want to point out is we're calling it resistance for a reason. Bitcoin's meeting that area. Same way you can see the 20 was approaching the 200 and crossing above. We were looking for support at that area. Bitcoin got it. The same way we're looking for resistance at this area, potentially seeing, seeing more downside. I just want to put that out there because it's what we should look out for to be prepared for at the very least. Not, I'm not predicting that's going to happen, but how can we not prepare for that? We have to prepare for that. At least I do. That's all this is, is the way I see things. Now to the upside. I said it would be interesting to see if Bitcoin can just escape this, this, this moving average area prior to this red, or I'm sorry, this green rectangle. What's the case for that? How can that happen? Well, we go over here and let's actually real quick make a note. These moving averages, they're literally where Bitcoin is right now. So $28,000, huge resistance for Bitcoin. And this is where we are on the daily. 200-day moving average, immediate resistance. We're about to open a new candle in eight minutes. I probably should have waited a few minutes to even start the video because I am personally on the very short term, in the hours ahead, tonight, overnight, I'm curious to see what the Bitcoin daily candle does. Is Bitcoin going to open a candle and start seeing green above the 200? Or is it going to open a red and just kind of start falling, trickling down 200-day 200 moving, moving average, too much for Bitcoin? We just had this happen basically. Uh, towards the end of August back here, Bitcoin got a pop above and just completely just fell and failed at the 200. Will that happen again? Or yeah, at the 200 right here. So once again, testing that area. Will that happen again is a question. One thing to really make a note of is this. Well, two things. Number one, we're getting the 20 day. We just had the 20 day crossing above the 50 day. It's a bullish move for Bitcoin. So we weren't, we weren't seeing that happen back here, Right. In fact, the 20 was falling below the 200. Now, the other thing is this. Bitcoin has some very nice momentum to the upside right now on the daily, this daily RSI, slower moving momentum oscillator. So Bitcoin kind of making, trying to, I should say, make a power move. That's why I'm so interested on the very short term 
see how it interacts with the 200 day moving average. Let's point out the obvious here. And this is what I kind of opened the video with. Bitcoin could break the 200. We could approach the 30, the $30,000 area. That's a really big resistance area. So even from an analysis perspective, you go back, this is where, this is, a, this is a point of consolidation for Bitcoin many times in times past. Even going all the way back here in 2021 is this support. That's also a mental area of resistance. So Bitcoin could break this area, but then we have the $30,000 area to watch out for. And then we also have, I would say, probably the biggest of resistance, this trend line that Bitcoin most recently broke to the downside. We always anticipate pullbacks to trend lines after breaking, right? So it makes sense so far, this setup. We see this so often. This is a little bit more grueling because it's taking a while, but it's a very big setup. But we see this a lot. We see a break to the downside, sideways, pullback, resistance, continuation to target. We see that a lot. That's the picture I opened up this video with. The target to downside is in the lower 20,000s. It's a higher low resistance er or support area for Bitcoin uh, from the bear market low. So swing, swing low, swing high, back down to this Fibonacci right here. It would be just such a common move for Bitcoin, painful. There would be a lot of bears just going crazy if Bitcoin were to see resistance here and start falling, resistance at 30 and start falling, resistance all the way up here after a bullish move and start falling down. But either way, we're going to get so much context now on this chart with what happens on that daily chart. We're going to get so much context and information for this weekly chart. And no matter how you spin it, even if Bitcoin starts falling and th there is resistance, Bitcoin is so on pace with what it's done in cycles past. And I think for me, that's the point that I just want to keep covering and coming back to. Because we can all sit here and speculate and guess all day. What's going to happen? Price. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen. But I absolutely enjoy visualizing the possibilities. And I'm prepared for them. I'm prepared for lower 20s. I'm prepared for 30 plus. I want to see what happens at these resistance areas. I want to see what happens at support areas. And that's why I'm doing these videos and tracking these things. So we can all just be prepared. And so we can also all just zoom out and say, hey, is there anything crazy we should be worried about? And for me personally, this is all this is. My opinion, I don't see anything. If anything, the consistencies, it just makes me more and more bullish going into this next cycle. Going over to ADA. ADA, setting up some nice structure. And you can see it here on the chart. We'll talk about it in a minute. The first thing I want to point out is, and I have, I have some scribbles here, because again, I just recorded this entire video. I have to redo it. But right here, you see these lower highs on the six hour coming out of overbought. I was pointing out, and I'm pointing out now, we're getting this move into overbought on the six hour, right? You see this little slow turnaround right here. Because we're getting overbought in the six hour doesn't mean, oh, it's over. Price is going to start falling and collapsing. And I brought this up because I wanted to show when we bottomed out here back in December, we saw that really nice move to the upside of 40 cents. You can see ADA had a very similar turnaround and it hit overbought very quickly, but it was right at the beginning of the turnaround. We are once again, potentially right at the beginning of a turnaround. So it hit overbought, kind of went even higher in overbought, and then just started kind of seeing lower highs while we were getting higher, higher highs. So there's that bearish divergence setup, but that's what it took for ADA to make a move to the upside. So we could be at the beginning move of a bullish move. That's important for ADA because we could see some bullish divergence, something we haven't seen yet. And we only have one cycle for historical reference, but in the last cycle, we didn't see this. And what I, what I mean by this is this. If we look at where we were in the last cycle for ADA, we were almost exactly where we are right now, right? Just consolidating, putting in a low, similar to what happened back here, consolidating, putting in a low. We were below the 20, we were below the 50 in this red box, just hanging out, looking to get pulled into those areas. And you can see it did at the end of the red box and actually went lower after the red box. But you can see the resistance at this 20-week moving average. Now, what I'm saying that could be bullish divergence, bullish confirmation for ADA is this. ADA, get rid of that. If it could approach the 20 in green, the 20-week moving average, 29 cents, and 50-week moving average, 33 cents, and break those areas within this red box, that would be bullish divergence kind of away from what happened in this last cycle, right? Remember, 
ADA went lower after the red box. If we're breaking these moving averages, it didn't break those moving averages until, you know, weeks later after we exited that red box, finally broke up. If that move happens now, that could be a big deal. How could that happen? We go back to the daily chart on ADA. Here's some nice structure. It's going to go one of two ways. And these are the two ways that I'm, I'm really tracking it right now. And that is to say we have lower highs. We have the lower lows. We have a nice just falling wedge. Target to the upside around 41 cents, 41, 42 cents. Why is that important? Because we have the 20 week at, at 29. We have the 50 week at 33 cents. If ADA is making a bullish move to upside, hitting those targets on the daily chart, not saying it's going to happen in overnight or even in one week, it could take a little bit of time to get there, but that could be a move that is a little bit just different than the last cycle. Now, on the flip side, if, say, ADA is going to see resistance maybe at this, this trend line, lower, lower high resistance at the trend line, around 28 cents, start trickling down, then we're just like seeing pain sideways again at 25, 24 cents. And then it falls down, targets a downside, 15 to 16 cents. What does that look like? We go back and we look at the last cycle. Remember, ADA kept falling after, that, after we exited that red rectangle. So that would be common. So I, we have this cushion to the downside, but it would be really exciting to see just a bullish move for ADA right now. But we have to be, we have to just, for me, I just, I kind of remain unemotional. I watch these things play out. I enjoy watching them. But right now, it's a nice little move to the upside. Maybe we get this 20-day moving average continuing to, to cross and we, we get to cross above the 50-day moving average. It could be a very bullish move for ADA. Uh, and if we get some type of similar move that we had at the bottom that we saw in like the end of December, we get our bars pattern to check that out for just, just a second. It could be a really nice power move for, for ADA to hit that target. Check that out. And that would be a move right there on the screen. I'm already, you know, bullish on ADA. I'm macro really bullish on ADA. We look at the zoomed out chart all the time. Whether we go down a little lower or not, you know I'm bullish. But if we get this type of move within this box, I'm not sitting here predicting that that's going to happen. But we should track these things. We get a breakout in markets. And even if it's a little slower, even if it takes longer, this move, though, this general twist of momentum to the upside, that could be a really big deal for ADA. And that's something I want to track. We realize downside is in play. I'm, I'm cool with that, too. But that is, that is in play to the upside. And I, I would be very interested to see if, if ADA could make a move like that. Crypto markets, to see if crypto markets could make a move like that. Because Bitcoin doing its own thing prior to this green box. These are the things I'm tracking. Right now, look at that. Bitcoin on the daily as I end this video. 28,000. It's trying to right now. Look at this. Look at this. At the 200 day moving average, there is the resistance. That's what it looks like on the daily chart. This should really be my thumbnail. That resistance. Just took a picture of it. Look at this. We'll see what happens, everybody. This is what I'm tracking going into the new week. I hope you're doing well out there. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, smash the like, your support. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.